What's going on, guys and girls? It's the B2. We're going to check in with a little Clicker Heroes, some Tiny Rails, and then again on the Defense Clicker. So here's something interesting I ran into along the way is Zavira was a little bit of a roadblock this time. She was a little bit of a, of a click blocker. Click block? I don't know. Anyway... The uh, the problem was is when I got here to the ascensions right in the sixth range I could not get more than like 450 or 200 but look I was going so big huge upgrades up here 700s 800s um, and then it dropped to like 550 and then it dropped to like 440 you know less than 440 uh, 350 or some 360 that's what it is 360 3, 359 to be exact anyway. The problem was I couldn't get to this damage booster right here quick enough. I couldn't, between like zones 115k to about one, well, 150k when I got this upgrade, the damage was just clicking off slow, man. It was like I couldn't do, um, I couldn't do a time lapse because that wasn't going to solve the problem. Um, I could, I could have done a quick ascend, but to quick ascend for 200 you know, E200? That doesn't make sense. You see what I'm saying, right? Like, I could have gotten to here and done a quick ascend to this one, grab these hero souls, but then I only made it to here. So why would I spend 50 rubies to get there? That doesn't make sense. Especially at level 200k. Like, that 200k, I think we've been talking back and forth in the channel, in the Discord as well, and in the comments section, that doing a quick ascend under level 300k really doesn't do a whole lot for you. You could time lapse and pull rubies and do all kinds of stuff to enhance your game than just spending the outright 50 crystals. So I think we all come to an agreement that 300k is about the, the break even mark for that, uh, for a, as being a time saver, I should say. Um, a quick run through the clan stuff here. The members, uh, Bacon Gaming has just vaulted vaulted into the lead in, in, over the past month and a half since this E10 upgrade. But then I have a feeling some of these guys have gone inactive again. And, and have not really moved a whole lot. Funky, he hasn't really, I hope he's okay. Haven't heard from him in chat in so long. Uh, I'm getting ready to actually pass him. What up, what up? Nightmare has just been on my heels too. Uh, but we're going to make some big moves this time in Clicker Heroes. So, again, if you want to be a part of the clan, B2 Games, uh, right here, B2 Games, uh, you can apply here. If you can't apply, if it's full, apply to B2 Games 2, and we'll get you set up. I think we have three open spots, and this is actually the first time we've used, uh, we've pulled from the lower clan to fill our roster, so it's kind of neat that it's actually starting to flow. And I tell you, like, if we have some of the guys remain inactive, we will be getting some open spots soon. So not a threat to the guy, existing guys. If you're active, uh, you're active. But if you're not active and you haven't moved levels, then you might be in a little trouble, trouble. So moving right along, we're going to hit Tiny Rails. And we've been making some progress on Tiny Rails. Um, we've been back on it again. We've been trying to um, boost our overall scenario completion rate. And so we've been buying a lot of stations. We have been um, just making all the stops here, like in the quest log. Now we got to go to San Salvador. And I'm, so I'm going to update this for you in a second. We're already... Um, we're already 38% in Central America, so we should be able to open that up pretty soon. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're stopping the truck. Oh, cow boom! Oh, this is a good one. I love me some cow boom. Ready? Mini cows! Jump on the engine. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, and now the spaceship. What up? Come on, spaceship. Where are you at? You don't believe there's a spaceship? You don't believe there's a spaceship? Oh, there it is! Cow boom! Very lucky to have caught that. It's kind of a random thing that doesn't happen a whole lot. But uh, but again, still, cow boom in the house. Now, let's go back to our overall story progress. We were at 28%. We've really just wanted to start buckling up on that on that 28 So I've been playing a lot to have only made 6% total story progress. I feel like I should be at like 60% to be honest. Like, holy cow, that is just not a lot. But we're going to keep plugging away at these stations. We're going to keep knocking down these things and then once we get all the property unlocked on the entire map we're gonna go full cargo train and then we're gonna start knocking that stuff out so uh, as far as tiny rails is concerned we have just been making a ton of progress so all right tiny rails update in and locked down let's move it on over to defense clicker my new obsession defense clicker like i'm telling you 
I have been playing the heck out of this game, and I've unlocked some stuff that's pretty cool, and I've unlocked some stuff that um, that I think you guys will be interested in to see here. Um, shout out to the guys, though, that have been helping us out in Discord, and I'm going to flip over there and grab their names real quick because it's uh, much appreciated. Uh, Zudakai, thank you so much, dude. Stormy200929. Uh, much love for sure. And then there was a girl on the comments that was helping me out. Let me see if I can find her name as well. Like very excited to have some new members in here. Uh, Donna Cowley. Thank you, Donna, uh, for all the help with defense clickers as well. So, um, all right. So what I've learned here is, is a couple of things. One, on the build mode, this speeder tower, he does not speed up anything except himself so so you don't want to rely on that and i was i was putting him in between the towers and i was trying to get him in the range and build and you guys must have been looking at me like he has just lost his mind so uh so don't use that speeder tower in that capacity now it says speeder tower because it is the fastest shooting tower right so if you want some quick dps in a particular area of your map you would use the speeder i don't know that i'm gonna necessarily use the speeder i've got this thing going here um i've got this kind of setup that i think will work but i'm gonna do stompers all the way around which i did here and then i'm gonna start over as arrows and then arrows all the way down so as things move across the map they're gonna have to slide past all these arrow shooters on both sides it is like a death alley. Like you just, you don't go in there. You don't go in there because you're going to get wrecked if you go down the alley here. Um, I've already told you about here. Now, a really cool thing that I don't think you guys have seen is the Evo upgrades, right? And so I unlock the range ad on one of them. And then I unlock the auto upgrader unlock on my second evo i was gonna go to a thousand but i got i was like you know what i'm at 500 let me just reset and i should have just gone all the way to a thousand because i forgot how long it takes to redo it but the cool thing is is while i'm offline if this hits max it's gonna look at your storage and say in 80 seconds is it max no if not the timer counts down and these these totals keep going up uh let me build i don't want to lose any money so i'm going to build these two real quick ski and boom that completes my middle island. Um, you don't go near the middle island or you get Shreked as well. And then I'm going to start by building my sniper back up. So like if stuff gets through here, you're going to be almost dead. So we're going to hit you right there. But I am going to build arrows all the way up around here too. Just a complete round circle. And then arrows all the way across there. So if you're in this dirt path, you're getting hit by stompers or you're getting hit by arrows. Like either way equals death. Am I right? I'm going to probably put stompers here here and here, though, in this little section, just because it would have that whole circle to stomp, and that's just a lot of damage you don't want to miss out on. But we're not there yet. Now, the good thing is these arrows also shoot at air targets, so if anything air comes out of here or here, they're going to be getting hit by all these. See, it just you can't even see them pop up on the map. Whereas, oh, oh, he's gone. You know, there's just too much damage coming out on you. Boom, get hit by snipers, get hit by arrows, get hit by chains. I dig it, man. So here's um, here's some other stuff, too. You can also do your gold storage when you upgrade that Evo. So you'll notice that I don't have to click this anymore to max it out. I don't have to go to strategy, uh, or I mean tower, and hit gold update. Like, the game is going to automatically do that. So overnight, I came back. I was at 55K. I came back. I was at 555K as a max, and I didn't have to press any buttons. Now, that's what I like. You know I love the idle play. Um, I don't mind clicking it a little bit, and I don't mind doing a little bit here and there, uh, upgrading and whatnot, but I don't want to be sitting at my, compu my computer just sitting there hitting upgrade on stuff and going, click damage, click damage, holla, click damage, click damage, holla. No, I just don't like that. The only one I do is this resource gold guy right here, and you can see it's not worth a lot of gold, but you can level him up on the job level two. I'd need to click it 7,500 times, and then it would go from three gold to four gold. So I don't know long term how that's going to work out. But as far as a tower upgrade, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, let's go for. A, um, there we go. We can now get uh, upgrade the fire shot. So I could get the fire element guy, the fire wall at the very end. I don't think we need him yet. We're going to upgrade the damage to the fire shooter here because that's doing more damage than that flame wall was. The flame wall is only going to shoot to here, and there's really nothing that's making it over here yet. So I don't feel like he's kind of like a stopgap. Like, 
Uh, if you feel like some stuff is getting through, you want to have him there for sure. You know, I just don't think that I'm at the place where I'm going to need that. So you can see I'm going to continue my arrow campaign. I think I'm just going to do arrows all the way up and around up until the stompers from now on. I don't know that I'm going to build any more chains. It looks like between all the arrows and the, the existing chains, uh, nothing's really getting through. And we've got uh, 156 levels to till we get to our next Evo, right? So we're just going to let that click away. I can't think of anything else that I need to go over with you guys. Um, anything else that, that came up during the, the talks and everything. But uh, we were talking, let me see. Uh, the auto upgrade button has a cooldown. Yep, we need that. The BS collector, we got that. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. So anyway, I hope you're having a great uh, Tuesday, and I hope that things are going well. If you have any questions on any of the games, hit me up. Holla.